Okay, again, thinker. <coughs> thinker for a horse fall. The thinker, she's going to take one foot, unwrap it, bring it one leg over the other one, like this. She could fall, so she has to unwrap her legs right away before she falls down. And your job is the base. If she's falling, don't just go, Dip! bend that <coughs> knee, lower that distance. Give her a chance to fall safer, okay? Work together and fly her, unhook your foot. Okay, we're going to break it down by bit. Throne mount, same thing, we're going to hop on. Um, another way of mount throne is really cool. I like this way. She's going to stand over here by my head, facing away from me, just like whale. And I'm simply going to bring my feet up on her butt, and she's going to sit back, and I'm going to support with my hands and push up like that. Okay? That's another way of mount throne. Um, thinker. My feet are in throne first. We have that straddle throne hooked in. I slowly, she slowly unwraps one foot. She puts one foot over the other. And then now it's forcing me to balance teeter-totter on this one foot here mostly. But I can keep this foot on her butt here to provide a second support there. This gives a cool look because she can bring her hand underneath her chin to create like she's, a, she's thinking, like a thinking pose. Mm -hmm. Come down. Again, that's high. Very scary. Very high. Do it on the ground. Break it down. Let's do it on a belly base. Same thing. She's facing away from me. She wraps both legs. Try this on the ground first. See how that feels for you. She's going to take one foot away. And it pours all the weight on this leg here. Really hard to balance. But from this distance, she's low enough so she can fall out. My other foot's on her butt. She really sinks on that butt, too. This foot. So I have both feet. And if you start feeling uncomfortable enough, you can take, take that one leg away, and she's just on one leg. But practice on the ground first. Get that feeling. Question? Okay. 